Dwight really wants my bonus. He's trying to entrap me. Oh God, no, I can't drink at this thing. I get really pranky when I drink. What is this? Happy holidays, Dwight. But do not open it till Christmas. You're so pathetic. How long did this take you, three hours? Five minutes, actually. I am a black belt in gift wrapping. Yeah, no such thing. They don't give out black belts for things that are stupid. <laughs> well, I hope it was worth it, because I'm going to take it apart in about five minutes. I think I'll take it a little bit longer than that. Really? If I can skin a mule deer in less than 10 minutes, I ought to be able to cut my... Michael! Chicken wire. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hey, it's snowing. Oh my God, it's the first snowfall of Christmas. Is that just so magical for you, little girl? Can you not wait to have a hot chocolate and cuddle up with Papa and tell him about all your Christmas dreams? Hmm? It's not even real snow. Look, it's dusting. It's pitiful. Hey, Dwight. Jim, you cannot throw snowballs in here. Well, it's not a snowball, because it's only a dusting, right? Look at that. There's a pebble in there. You could have killed me. Oh, don't be such a baby. Yeah, who's a little girl now? <laughs> <laughs> you apologize to me right now. There's something on your nose. You apologize right now. No. Very well. Then I challenge you to a snowball fight on the first real snow of winter. You got it. Jim! Cindy, you are so good. What? What's, that? What's happening? Oh, she's asleep. Oh, narcolepsy. Probably. Okay, now open your eyes and describe it to me. I don't know. It has four bedrooms and a loft. Oh my god, now she's up? Yeah. And she's trying to describe how to correctly butcher a goose? But she's having trouble coming up with it. Okay, Cindy, go, Cindy, Cindy. Hold its neck back, insert the knife beneath the jaw, bring it all the way around. There's gonna be a good amount of blood. But don't let that bother you. Have a bucket there for the blood and the, the innards and the feathers. You've reached the voicemail of Dwight Kurt Schrute. Please leave. I have no feeling in my fingers or penis, but I think it was worth it. Oh. Ah! Um, I was laying on the ground, defenseless, and uh, he just kept throwing him until he exhausted himself. And uh, then, how about icing it? LOL, Dwight. I, I was too embarrassed. I, I was like, hey guys, sorry to interrupt. I uh, just found this on my desk and need to talk to somebody about it. Can you believe that? Is that Cece? Yes, it is. Oh, it's man, awful. Yes, it is. Cece is Jim's daughter. Oh my God. How could somebody do that? I don't know. I mean, the way I see it is you can deface any picture of me. Anyone. Pick one. Not my kid, though. Who did this? Who did this? Do you know who did this? I, don't, I know who did this. Dwight. Dwight? Yeah. Dwight? No. He, he should pay. No, yeah, he, he is going to pay. This is fireable. Okay. It's, I mean. Let me just see it one more time. You know what? I know who my friends are now. But I shouldn't have got you involved. Because the truth is, I don't even really care about this picture. It's a little out of focus. It was probably an accident, right? Like That's no accident. Right. You're right. So maybe it was me who did it by accident. What? Well, I'll figure out. Get to the bottom of it. Merry, merry. Jim? Oh, hey. I need to get
give you your Christmas gift now because, um, well, I'll just tell you. What? For the past few months, I've been sending Dwight letters from the CIA. Are you serious? They're considering him for a top secret mission. There's his application, and this is where I made him list every secret he promised he'd never, ever tell. <laughs> Last year, my boss, Michael Scott, took a day off because he said he had pneumonia, but really, he was leaving early to go to magic camp. Wow. <laughs> so here's the gift. You get to decide what his top secret mission is. Sorry I didn't wrap it. Light pen. Night. Oh, you know what? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. I intercepted a transmission earlier, and it seems that the CIA is going to need Dwight down in their headquarters at Langley for training and an ice cream social with the other agents. We should get him a bus ticket to make his trip easier. Oh, no, that would be very good. It costs $75. Hmm. Well, maybe the CIA could send a helicopter. You have been compromised. Abort mission. Destroy phone. Destroy phone. Ah, oh, I've been attacked! Oh my god! Ah, oh, someone put a porcupine in my drawer! Oh my god. Yeah, I was just sitting here on my desk, and I, I reached into my drawer to grab my toothbrush and, and some tooth powder, and, and, and all, all of a sudden I was attacked by this bloodthirsty, rabid creature. I wonder, in this office, who has access to a porcupine? Or who in this office knows that I have access and is trying to set me up? Hmm. You know, this sounds a lot like the premise of my latest Chad Flenderman novel, A Murder for Framing. Chad Flenderman. Just an easygoing black guy who knows the streets, yet he also went to Oxford. So, just as comfortable on a motorcycle as he is on Air Force One. Oh, and he's also the world's leading Egyptologist. Toby, nobody cares about your sex-crazed black detective. No, 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 no. Women chase him. He misses his wife. Hello, lacerated hand here, folks. Nice try. This is ridiculous. Oh, is it really? Two separate times, you have set me up to believe that I was being recruited by the CIA. Three times. <laughs> you see? Jim, this has your fingerprints all over it. Andy, you gotta be kidding me. Fingerprints can be planted, you know, with a severed hand. Do you think that's what happened? Do you think you used a severed hand? Okay. You know what? Why don't we just call animal control? You might want to run that by Angela, because it's so cute. No. Porcupines don't have souls. They're like dogs. Yes, I'm calling from Dunder Mifflin. We have a very rabid porcupine in our office. Someone should come pick it up. Come down right away. Uh, I don't know, let me ask. Uh, were you quilled? Yes, I was quilled. And what's his name? Henrietta. Oh. What? Oh, me... All right. Get her out of here, Dwight. <laughs> don't. Stop. Dwight. Dwight, stop. Oh, oh. Okay, huh? okay. <laughs> yes, I have a wig for every single person in the office. You never know when you're gonna need to bear a passing resemblance to someone. Oh, Jim, hey. Hey, Toby. There's this female uh, a stenographer at the courthouse. No way. That looks exactly like you. That's incredible. Yeah, I know, it's uncanny. You know what's crazy? What? I can't reconnect with you right now. Hold on one second. Oh! Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I just got my replacement credit card. Do you want the number? Oh, it's uh, 4793 0032. Three three one three. The security code is nine two seven. Okay, great. 
Thank you very much. Bye. So Dwight did take the bait. He used my credit card numbers to send a $200 bouquet of flowers to my wife. From me. Hey Pickles, Merry Christmas. Open immediately. Love Swiss cheese. <laughs> Damn it, Dwight! <laughs> Didn't think your affectionate nicknames would be your undoing, did you, Jim? Let that be a lesson to you all. I don't, I don't know. Okay. By the way, I'm not gonna mess with your and Dwight's bonuses. I think it's causing more problems. So just be yourselves, have fun, and try not to let it affect your work. All right, I will definitely do that. All right, I'll tell Dwight. You know what, you're sitting and thinking, and it's probably better if it comes from me anyway. Christmas miracles do happen. Yes, they totally do. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I fell asleep, I took a nap. Hey guys, ah, I feel refreshed now. How's it going? Dwight, took a little nap right next to Jim's desk. I feel so good right now. Mmm, cookies. What's everyone staring at? Oh man, I was supposed to tell Dwight something. Come on, Jim. I got nothing. Hey, sorry, I'm ready. I wanna go. Oh, come on, bear man. Come on. Have you ever seen them do that? I'm sorry. I had no idea. No, it's, it's okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Okay, this is it. What? Go. What? What is this? What? Go, go. This? Oh my god! Honey! Jim! Jim! In the end, the greatest snowball isn't a snowball at all. It's fear. Merry Christmas.